What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the lounge for another episode of Offline with your host, Maisha Hines Allen. Gang. I am your co-host, Greg Cross. And today's guest is our first from the media space. So let's go ahead and clap it up for that. Oh, thank you. All Big right. time. Let Basically, me- she can't dribble. <laughs> no, no, we don't do that. You play your role and you play it well. Come on. Yeah, definitely. Thank let's. You. I'm, I'm going to run out of breath listing off all of the accomplishments and everything that you're into. But let's Uh-oh. go ahead and get into it. Okay. All right. She is a lifestyle host and morning traffic anchor for ABC7 News. She works the Wizards game as a game time host. So you guys might have seen her at the games. Facts. She's also a wrestling TikToker. Mm -hmm. We got to get into that. We got to talk about it. We definitely do. She's a shoe connoisseur. Oh, oh. yeah. Who said that? Got got the kicks on her feet. All right. Who said it? Your Instagram said it. You say it. It says sneaker lover. That's very thing. different than connoisseur, You're, but I'll, I'll, I'll own it. I'll give it to you for yeah. sure. Yeah, you got it. Greg own. said it. Check. <laughs> <laughs> and she's also a serious XM host. Mm-hmm. All right, let's welcome Britt Waters to the show, y'all. Give it up for Britt. Give it. Oh, I like the dance. See, Thank no you. one be dancing when we give them their little intro. I like that. Can you do the intro how I used to do your intro? Like, it was five like ten from Maryland. Like that? You can give me a number. Okay. Brit, you gotta do that. that water. Oh, like I need I need a how I used to do you. You gotta do because I that ain't I've never heard her intros before. Wow. She someone kinda... doesn't come to Wizards games. <laughs> I was it's a youngin. Okay. I was a youngin before it, so it was before you got to working with the Wizards. Oh, okay. Cause you like, were young in like yesterday? Cause that no, like blue, yesterday. Like blue and gold <laughs> wizards. Get with arenas. Are they back or... in the blue and gold the bronze? Yeah. Blue and bronze. Nah, yeah, Their blue jerseys and now are tough, though. Yeah, blue and bronze. classic ones, it's tough. 25th like anniversary season. Fact. I like mm-hmm. when we got, they switched up the court, too. That shit's tough. Yeah, it is. But cool. we about to get into it. Yeah. What does it mean to go offline? For me, it means when I can have independent thoughts and quietness, mm. which is rare, but I enjoy it. That's what it's given rare because when you listed <laughs> off your accomplishments, it just kept going. And I was like, when do you get that time to be like? <sighs> in the morning, I do. Um, in the shower. Okay. I have this like eucalyptus spray mm, and it just okay. makes me relax in the shower. I don't put no music on and I'm just like having thoughts. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll get, I'll get, okay. If All I right, try I to that. take that time other times in the day, I'll fall asleep. So. When do you got time to fall like that? So when you said the morning, I overheard y'all talking and you said you get up at like 3.30 in the morning. I wake up at 2 a.m. Monday through Friday. 2 a.m. God. Yes. Damn. And I am on the news by 4.30 a.m. My so, first hit is at 4.30 a.m. We so, have meetings at 3.15. That's too early. And I have to look cute, too. Exactly. So but I used you to do that, morning radio. But you, but you do it, though. Thank you. Yeah, you do it. Work. Thank you. Put it's the whole interesting thing together. Cause like I, I did radio for so long and would just roll out of bed and just show up as I am. But it's so much different in television. So it's it's an investment. You you gotta look good. And you mm-hmm. do your part. You do your part. Thank you. So we got this quick hitter question. And okay. it's brought to you <clears throat> by a student that attends Dunbar High School named Madison Bees. Hey, she Madison. wants yeah. She wants to know how do you work on your mental health while dealing with sports? And how do you deal with your mental health during games and events? I think it all goes into preparation, Uh, not putting pressure on the outcome of that game, not putting pressure on the outcome of that event. And knowing that if you try your hardest, whether it's hosting, whether it's playing whatever sport you're playing, that at the end of the day, it's a win. Mm. And if you go in with that mindset, I think nothing else can shake your mindset. You showed up, you did your best. And there's times when we don't do our best. And we don't show up all the way. <laughs> and those are times that you could still say, you know, that's just it's it's a day and we live another day. Um, and for me, whenever I need to like a refresh for my mental health, I just call my mother. She always centers me. None of this stuff impresses her. My mom would be proud of me uh, if I like <laughs> was selling like, I don't know, something legal. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> OK, you had to put that out. Something there. legal. <laughs> You know, I could be working at Wawa and I think she'd be the same level of proud of me. So she humbles me, but she also uplifts me. And just like, that's the thing that centers my mental. Shout out to moms. That's, yeah. what, that's what it's given. Because yeah. you said you just call your mom when you, when it was looking like, when we were looking like we were tough out there, when we was taking our oh, photos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, I'll just call my mom. She'll handle it. Yeah. I ain't got to fight. I got, I got a mom and a dad. And a sister. Uh, <laughs> shout out to the fam. Yeah, I'm not saying that. We're from Jersey. <laughs> yeah, 
right. Oh, hold on now. Say that one more time. We from Jersey. Yeah. We gonna hey, get Jersey. in Jersey. Ooh. Hey, okay, okay. Let me no, we're gonna get into a little Jersey later. Okay. We're gonna get into it because you know, gotta rep. And I was afraid because I know y'all Google people. Yeah. I saw how y'all treated Alicia, and that wasn't fair. Oh, well, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, with Alicia, the thing is. with AC, Google said it. My Google is wrong. It says I'm from Vancouver, and I don't understand. I knew you were from Jersey. So yeah. I didn't yeah. even see but that. But, like, so like, it knows, like, my sister's middle name. It knows, like, intimate details about my life, but it says I'm from Vancouver, and I've literally never been to Canada. Ooh, yeah. I'll, Google, y'all got to do a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, they got to tighten up. But, like, me. they do and they work. I mean, they know you. Is it right? Your sister's middle name, right? Yes, but we're not from Vancouver. But they got some of it, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, so you get, so they get some points. Yeah, miss. they get some points for that. Yeah. We got Hot Seat. Okay. We're going to play it with our, our special Lemonade. We got five questions. Oh, lemonade is not that color. It's given. It's a special Lemonade. Mm-hmm. So we got five questions. If you don't want to answer the question, you take a shot of our special lemonade. Okay. Let's Are you ready to get, get into, into it? it. <laughs> I'm going to start us off. Uh, Will you be taking the shot with me? No, if you... All right, since she asked. If you answer the question, we have to take the shots. Oh, great. If you choose Bet. to plead the fifth, the shot is on you. Great. The mic is on now. I mean, they were already on, but like mm-hmm. the real mic is on. <laughs> Swear yeah, y'all, y'all can drink. This lyric. Finish this lyric. I already know she's about to fucking get it. <laughs> oh my God, Becky. Look at her. But. Oh my God. Look at her. But. Oh, 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 oh my God. Look I at was her going, but. Look at her. But. Look at her. But. This boy named Michael used to ride motorcycles. She's doing Nicki Minaj. <laughs> That wasn't what we were. No, we, it was. We oh were my aiming God. for the Wayne version. Yes. But <laughs> oh, I thought you meant the Queen of Rap. <laughs> I thought you meant the Queen of Rap, Nicki Minaj. You know I'm no, a barb. No, no, we're not talking about the Queen of Rap, <laughs> who she thinks is Nicki Minaj. Hey, that's, I, that's another I think, thing. I think all I three of us should song. take that shot. Wait, why me? <laughs> All, that was the wrong that, one. That was. That I'm supposed to read your mind because that was a Nicki lyric. It was a Nicki bar. That was a yeah, Nikki she bar. was right there. It's a Nikki bar. But it wasn't the right one that we was looking for. Oh, it wasn't the, really? the one in your head? Yeah. So you got But it. it's a Nikki bar. The thing is. It was a young money bar. You know, they share those. So. Yeah. But hey. Why am CMB? This yeah. is. Yeah. No, 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 no. I don't know. No, you were thing. going. Too I got far. it right. I could have did the whole song. Okay, do the whole song. Absolutely not. Take the shot. No, oh, we're taking it together. <laughs> we're taking, okay, we're, I can do a half. Y'all do a full. Because okay, I no, at least no. got half of it right. I'll give that no, to you me. got a look. No, that's it. Wait, wait. Great. And you know I'm a barb. <laughs> exactly. Well, I don't know why <laughs> you are a barb and you think that she is the best. I don't think. It's something I know. Cheers to Cheers. YMCMB. <laughs> <laughs> Young Money Cash. Okay, I'm just oh my god. <laughs> that lemonade is good. Definitely not just lemonade. That is good lemonade. Made by an adult. I'm the bartender around here, y'all. Mm-hmm. All right, next one. You got to pick one. There's five of these? There's for real? five questions. Okay. You got to pick one. Okay. If you do, like, after you pick one, the other one has, like, is, like, gone forever. Bet. Like, it, okay. The Eagles or sneakers? Man. What will we wear on our feet, though? Like This is for you. <sighs> So everyone else can wear sneakers but me? Yes. Mm-hmm. The latest ones, You got to be rocking the Jesus slides, Jesus sandals. Okay, so the Eagles would go away, but would they, like, never come exist back. as another name? Nope. 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 They gone. Gone, Can't gone. Can't support them no more. The them Eagles is gone. or sneakers. Can you pick a different team? Nope. We're going with the Eagles. Because I bleed green. The Eagles or sneakers. You didn't even got to think that hard. You could just take I, Yeah, the I just got to take the shot. What? Oh, I we got one. Shot. We got one. Yes. I really didn't think because I'm an open book, but that is just not fair. That's we like top one. five things I care about in life. All right. Name me a top five things you care about in life. Oh, it, it wafers. It mixes. Okay. But the Eagles and sneakers are always. Eagles and sneakers are always. Are they the interchangeable? Oh, the whole five moves. Okay. Moves around. Okay. Depending on how they're doing. Well, the Eagles. Depending on how my life is going. Oh, okay. So right now Eagles is number one. 
Depends on the day. You think they're going to win the Super Bowl? Absolutely. I think they're going to win the Super Bowl every year of my life. And I was around for their first Super Bowl. I was around when they were Super Bowlists. What? Before 52. And my family took a Christmas photo. And I was like, we have to wear Eagles gear because this is the year we're going to win a Super Bowl. And my dad was like, you say that every year. And they've never won in my lifetime. He was talking to himself. And I was like, well, this is the year. And it was the year. Shit. How'd you become an Eagles fan, though? Um, I was born an Eagles fan. I never had a choice. Okay. 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 Yeah. So that was, I grew up in South Jersey, yeah. uh, right outside Philadelphia. My whole family is Eagles fans. And I, yeah, I never got a choice. It was never a, a picking. You could have been a Giants or a Jets fan. And you, nope. Your family said, no, could you're going to be an Eagles fan. Yeah. And I think that's the reason why I've never worked in the NFL space because mm. I have to have a team that's for me right. and I don't want to give up my passion, which is the Eagles. I'm such a groupie for hey, them. But no, at least you know, <laughs> though, like I'm such an Eagles yo, groupie. If we see you working an NFL game. I'm going to be like, roll the clip. Just tell, she tell her. Yeah. She an Eagles fan. Yeah. She an Eagles fan. And I say that. And being in D.C. and on air in D.C. for over a decade, I've never wavered from that. Mm. But I love that because I get to have such spirited conversations with people who are fans of other teams in the NFC East. And I'm going to stay true to it. You got to. Yeah. Greg got the last three. Got oh, you got to take. Oh no, you got to take that because you might not enter another one. That's good lemonade. It's not lemonade. It would be good if it was lemonade. It's special lemonade. It's not Maisha, lemonade. Maisha's lemonade. No. Mook's lemonade. No. Definitely Mook's lemonade. We need to brand uh, that. B- BPF. <laughs> it's not going to be sold at Whole Foods. Oh. It's going to be sold at Lax. No. What is Lax? What is Lax? What is, is that, that a Jersey thing? LAX? No. It's a DC thing. Lax? Wine and liquors? Never heard of that. Uh, we'll take a trip. Yeah, because I've never Definitely field trip time. We gotta, we'll take we a trip. Get Lax? That. Yeah. Mook's Lemonade will be at Lax before it's at Whole Foods. Okay. Before we quote that, I need to go to Lax. You do? I go to Lax? What is Lax? No. Wait, I'm sure you've been to a Lax. I've been to a Lax. Where Only do you Lax buy your adult LaCrosse. beverages? Where do you buy as well beverages? Store? Yeah. But like, which one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> not Lex, not Lex. But let's, let's, go, okay. let's go ahead and get into that third question that I got for third? you. Third? I think this is number five. This is third. Uh, that, no, might, be, is, that might be that, um, that special lemonade talking. Yeah, for but sure. That's going to be sold in Lex. If you were to have a biopic, okay. what actress would play you and why? Ooh, I know this because I've thought about it. Um, what is her name? What is her name? I love her. She's a little little black girl. She was on um, Blackish. She was in uh, Little, the movie Little. You know what I'm yeah, talking I know, about? I know who you're yes, talking you know what I'm talking about. He don't know. He don't know. That's, so you no, lie? You be here on, lying people's face? No, I don't. I don't be lying. She's on Blackish. Um, I'd be lying. She produces her name is movies me right now. Is this a no phone zone? Can I just look it up? Sure. Because I, you, I don't, you. yeah. No, because she's like, so I was Kiki Palmer. That's the only, no, Kiki girl, Palmer. She, she that's got, the only, the like, frames. she is such, Blackish. I didn't so talented. Oh, um, see? After we won, after we won the championship, we went to, I think, Good Morning America, and they were doing an episode, or, yeah, an episode with, with Blackish, and I think I know who you're talking about because she was one of them. I think I got a when she with says her the name, I'm gonna be like, Yeah, I need to see her face. I ain't going to Marseille face. Martin, yeah, Mar- Marseille Marseille Martin. Oh, wait, I keep looking at these ghetto names. Yeah, shout out Marseille. I'm sorry, I forgot Marseille your name. Yeah. Martin. We love yeah. you. I think she should play me, okay. but I would rather play her, but I don't act, so there's that. <laughs> yeah, we, she might touch the acting world for sure. Marseille, she can be me, okay, and you could be her, sure. I, th- I might have aged out. No, you look young. Thank you. I don't want to ask how old. But like, don't Google it because that's wrong too. Google's wrong on that? Google is so wrong. <laughs> Yo, Google, y'all are messing up, bro. Y'all got to do better. Yeah, People would be like, you look so good for your age. I'd be like, well, what's my age? <laughs> we said, I, was like, I was born in the 90s, ma'am. And they were like, oh, okay. So now I don't look good for my age. I just actually look my age. Wait, it's interesting. <laughs> That now is a perfect go segue, though. Yeah. We got okay. to what? Uh oh. What was your welcome to adulthood moment? <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, getting my driver's license. I had to cry to get it. The yeah, I had to cry. 
You didn't pass the test or something? Well, I passed the test because I cried. I hit a cone. Oh, shit. You're not supposed to have your driver's license. I mean, I've, this, this, was, this is when I'm 17. No. Well, I hit a cone and then I, I was like, well, I'm never going to have to parallel park. I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> I'm never going to leave Jersey. My dad's over there. It's my birthday. It was my birthday. Oh, shoot. So I cried and I got it. And I was like, wow, I'm an adult. I don't. I don't. Is that real? Mm, no. You I hit a cone. Covered, you should yeah. not have gotten your license. Okay. I but I had to pull a boss move to get it. The boss move was crying. It was tears? Yes, and it worked. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, it yes. worked. Sucked fat. it up. And then me like, and my dad yeah. went to McDonald's. Yes. Watch out. She. She's oh, you a actually I even like had snot. She'll finesse like, you with you them tears. Cried. Like, yo, give tears, me snot. It was all of it. It was like it's my birthday. Christmas is coming. Like my dad is right there. I'm never gonna have to Pellwell Park. I promise I'll learn. And they said here, mm-hmm. I'm going to that DMV <laughs> and I'm I'm gonna talk to them because that is I don't I don't know about that, y'all. We gotta. You can ride with me in the Fiat one day. Okay. The Fiat? Yeah, I drive a Fiat. Ooh. Ooh push Compact. it. Be, yeah, push that <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, skirt, skirt is right. <laughs> what the Fiat? So for our last question on hot seat, mm-hmm. would you rather be stranded on an island alone? Immediately, no. Or Don't with we? your worst enemy for two weeks? <sighs> your, your worst enemy is going to help you survive. Is there food readily available? No. Nope, you gotta Ain't find it. This is this is like Survivor. Oh yeah, I'll be alone. You gonna take alone? I'm gonna take alone because he would kill me. Who's your wait, my worst he, enemy? Would murder me. Who? Hundred percent. But you said he. Yes, he. Who is your worst? enemy? <laughs> that wasn't the question. <laughs> wait, I got to be, you that wasn't you the question. Said I know he. exactly who he is, and he would murder me, and then probably like fry me up and eat me. Is who this is an ex situation? <laughs> nope, not even an ex. Just an op. Just an op. <laughs> an op in your industry? What's going on? I didn't say it was in my industry. I just oh. said it's an op. He from Jersey? I hope not. You don't know. Oh, I'd, rather, I'd, rather, I'd rather be on the island alone. Okay. Yeah. But who's the op? That wasn't the question. And I think you've used New your five. New question. No, if you use your five. Um, so you guys owe okay. me some shots. I answered a couple and you didn't take the shots. So. Oh, yeah. Facts. That's yeah. But like, who, who's the op? Can we that know? wasn't in the five. Okay, but I mean, okay. maybe next time I come, you know. Okay, yeah, we okay. Got to get hey, on the Mark, show, Mark. We gonna find out who the op is. <laughs> Does he have an Instagram? <laughs> I'm gonna find the op. I'm like, what are you gonna? Are you, what are you gonna search? Brit's op. <laughs> I'm a detective. I will. I will. I don't know, but I'll find the op. That What's he look like? Is. That wasn't one of the questions either. Oh Jesus, she's not gonna give it. You to used okay. your five. Damn, we yeah. should have started with that one. Then I could. Uh-uh. Don't worry, I got some shit Okay, that works. and then my license, you gotta take another one. Oh, she was counting. Them. Yeah, keep going, keep going. I went counting. to Maryland, I don't play. <laughs> Shout out UMD. What, what did you get your degree in for the people that um, back home that are watching? It was broadcast journalism. Yes, my degree's in broadcast that? journalism. I came to Maryland because it was one of the top 10 journalism schools in the country. And it was also within driving distance of my parents' house. Um, so I went to the Philip Merrill College of Journalism at University of Maryland. Um, and it was, it just solidified that this is what I wanted to do. This is the space I'm supposed to be in. Mm-hmm. And there's so many Terp alums and professors that are in the field. So to actively see them doing that, to have like Scott Van Pelt come to class and then take us out for beers, to have Michael Black, I mean, seriously, uh, Kevin Blackstone uh, do, teach classes. It was just crazy. Y'all was drinking beers early. Yes. The professors was taking you out drinking beers? SVP will come to games and like take kids to Bentley's. It's like this dirty bar say, on Route what 1. What is Bentley's? This dirty bar on Route 1. All the Terps will know. Well, are you going back to Bentley's or you don't, you don't accept for them? Um, maybe for like homecoming, I'll do a Bent's. But I feel like there's diseases in there. Oh my God, not the diseases. <laughs> yeah, there's always like some type of fluid on the floor. But you was in there when you was Yeah, there. when my ID was fake. <laughs> not when it's real. <laughs> So y'all, Britt Brit didn't get her license and she was using a fake ID to get into Bentley's. I'm just concerned what about the miscellaneous fine. fluid on the Bentley's floor. Yeah. What's going on? I'll take you there too if you want. No, I, 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 yeah, no, I want to go to Lax for sure. I want to go to Lax. go to Lax, Wine and Spirits, we will, go, we will go to Bentley's and get a specimen from the floor. <laughs> take we a sample? Test it. <laughs> We're going to take you, a sample. You, bartending, do you do like some signs? You dabble a little bit? No, I'm not taking that you is put not it on like going a, in a, drink. a little Petri dish. 
and we can see what that is. No, I I will no. I'm sorry, but I you keep you brought up lax again. Okay, one thing. Okay, they're I'm, gonna book Mooks Lemonade. Okay, they're for sure gonna book Mooks Lemonade because I'm about to go and I'm about to be like, hey, y'all need this up there. Yeah, but where is like where is it? Is All it on over. Every, so there's there's sp- multiple of them. Yeah. I don't think this is. That's, is this a that's restaurant? A, that's news to it's me. It's not I've a never restaurant. Heard a liquor store referred to. No, as No, you just go there and, and buy. It's just a regular liquor store. I Wine. wouldn't call it regular. You gonna call Lax regular? Oh, yeah. Iconic. Ooh, they're iconic. Fuck yeah! Only if they book Mook's Lemonade. If they not, uh, they I think they go will. To, we're gonna go to Whole Foods. We're gonna show them this episode. Okay. And you shouted them out. So Brit is the plug for Lax. And I'm going to ask again about lax because I really need to know where they are. But <laughs> how are you able to maintain and drive in the space that you are in now? Because I have fun when I'm doing it. Um, there are definitely times I wake up. I'm so tired. I'm so angry. Um, but being around fans, being around players and sports, being around like people in the community whose stories I get to share. I like that. It's, it's not about me and being able to embody someone else's story and deliver it a certain way or to hype a crowd or like to change someone's some kid's day because he got to throw a t-shirt or catch one like those things always bring me back and keep me going and I think if I ever get to a space where I consistently don't like it then you should leave well have you been have you ever been in a space where you're like okay like I'm done with this I want to move on to the next part of my life or next phase phase yeah um Yes. And it was hard for me because that space is such like a family environment. Um, But I also don't want to gatekeep. And I think that's important. I think just because you can have all the jobs doesn't mean you need to keep all the jobs. Mm. It's important to build up whoever's next to um, help create opportunities for other people and know when it's time like to let go of something and enjoy it. You know, I think getting into the game entertainment and hosting space was really aligned with the mystics. I went to Maryland when I first started hosting for the mystics, like there was like six Terps on the team. I was obsessed (laughs) Brenda at all the games and I had gone through college with them, like announcing them in college, doing like post game interviews and then doing it at the same time in the W it was just like an amazing space hosting at W all star and all of that. But when I started working with the Wizards, I did it at the same time. And then I got the news job and I was like, this is a lot. Mm-hmm. And I owe all of these jobs, all of me. And I couldn't do it all. And a part of me really wanted to be a Mystics fan and just come to games like I do now. Yeah. And like have a beer and scream and yell and boo the other team <laughs> and like just be super hype and just be an advocate for them. And I feel like that's when I felt like it's time to leave this space and, and leave it with someone that I know is just as passionate that I can that always come to me for coaching and stuff. And Facts. Yeah, Kyle I'm, is, yeah. he's passionate. Shout yeah. out Kyle on yeah, the mic. Cause he Kyle. is, he is definitely passionate. I feel like you definitely passed over that <laughs> mic or that torch or whatever you, however you want to use sure, it. For sure. Yeah. Like, you know, he's really good. He's really good with it, mm-hmm. what he does. So let's go ahead and talk about how you, started right so you graduated from Maryland in 2013 yeah and it seems like everything was kind of just falling in your lap right but oh I wish it came (laughs) but but it came with preparation though right so let's talk about your big break on the rest part morning show and what that looked like and I would love that um so I did a tour of Radio One at the time is what it was and met Russ Parr and I was like I want to intern with the morning show and he was like we don't have interns I was like Mm -hmm. okay great cool Love it. Got an internship with the station, like in another department. And then just would knock on the door in the studio and be like, hey, can I sit in? Sure. We're not going to talk to you. Okay, that's fine. And then after a while, I just kept showing up while in college every day at 530 in the morning. And they were like, all right, Britt, do you want to go get our coffee? Sure. Made sure that Starbucks was correct. (laughs) I even befriended the baristas so they would know they would open up early. So I got his Starbucks drinks well. And then... I ended up kind of just becoming a volunteer intern, growing into producing space. And then um, the one of the hosts got pregnant and had to leave. And they were like, Britt, do you want to fill in until we find someone? And then they just never found someone. I filled in and then she came back and we became a family. And they really just helped me develop and like 
you know, having your first time on air, be on a nationally syndicated show, you're just thrown into the fire. And it was the best way to grow. Damn. That's how it all started. Must be nice. You Start know, maybe that's why I drink saying. so much Starbucks. Okay. Because it helps put now me I on. Know. Mm-hmm. Now I yeah. know. I just need, <laughs> hey, I just need to have someone buy me some Starbucks and then the rest of it will be history, I guess. First Damn. of all, I've seen you in Starbucks. You just got to walk in and tell them who you are and they give you whatever you want. First of all, I don't even go to Starbucks like that. And yes, I did you see, do. No, I've seen like you that. in Starbucks. Yeah, I did see in the <laughs> one in Navy Yard. <laughs> I was just like, hey. <laughs> Okay. And I got like something simple. But like I don't really like drink coffee like that. So like I don't drink I... coffee. So what do you get from Starbucks? There's so many things you get from Starbucks. Teas, refreshers, like a, a I'm on chai, a refresher. like this all is a of Starbucks that. stand right here. I know. Really? Yeah. <laughs> all right, what's your what's your go-to Starbucks drink? Um or sandwich. A dirty iced matcha, one pump cinnamon dolce, light ice with coconut milk. And you don't have to say that anymore, right? They just know that order was just about as long as your list of accomplishments. Well, that's what I'm saying. She kept going. I'm like, yeah, wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the guy once. sees me walking. He just be like, so do you have to say it or like they just know? They kind of know, but sometimes if they're missing an ingredient, then I got to pivot. Yeah. Or if it's like too cold and I want a warm drink, then I got to pivot. And it's just like, oh my goodness. Let me just goodness. tell them what I want. I know. Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. Must be nice. Um, yeah, I need to I need to start going to Starbucks, I guess. But what's the day to day? What does a day to day look like for you? In short, a day of me. no in long. We want the from yes, start. Man. We to want from that. Oh, how much time we got? OK, at four. four well, let's be through it. Um, so I wake up at two o'clock in the morning. I snooze till two ten. So it's two a.m. Um, immediately get out of bed. So my alarm clock is in my bathroom. So I can get out of bed because I will just keep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'll snooze the phone alarm and then the alarm clock in my bathroom will force me out. I get out, um, you know, handle things. And then I use this app. It's called Abide. It's a meditation app, but it's based off of scriptures. So it gives you like a Bible scripture of the day and then it walks you through meditation. You can pick five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And it just kind of puts me in a space. You know, then I'm in a work meetings. We're on a Zoom call at 315 prepping for the morning show. I get dressed. I'm in the makeup chair by 3.30. We're on air by 4.30. Do the news. Then I move on to my lifestyle show at 10. Good morning, Washington. Um, So either I'm out in the community doing interviews or we're having guests in studio. So I do those. Um, If it's a Monday, I go home, get my Starbucks, record my radio show for Sirius XM. I have a home studio. So that makes it really easy. And it's fun because I count down new music releases. So I get to know new music. I record that show for hours and then it's time to probably eat food and get ready for a wizards game. If it's a game day, um, put a fit on, look over my script and then head to the arena, walk around, talk to like, whether it's season ticket holders or new fans and see what the vibes are. We're in a production meeting, host the game after the game, go home, eat some food. Get a nap before I do it all over again. I was about to say, where's the nap at? Because yeah. it was just like, go. She referred to nighttime sleep as a nap. That's how you know you're busy. Well, it's she, like, yeah, between like two. 11 p.m. and 2, I'm always asleep. Unless it's like a weekend. Oof. Or like somebody convinced me to Yo, act this up. is wild. Oh, <laughs> the cut water is going to convince you to <laughs> the act cut up. Waters. I hate cut water. And she put it in this. Yeah, don't. Okay, first of all, cut water is the best drink out there. Shout out to cut water. That okay. drink is good. It is oh good. my God. I don't hate cut water. It's just like I have to be ready to cut water. How are you ready to cut water? How is someone supposed to be ready to cut water? Like sometimes you have to get ready and prep to play basketball. You can't just like yeah. wake up and didn't Alicia tell you you're supposed to stretch and stuff? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, she watches like, the episode. I feel now. like when I have to drink cut water, I have to mentally prepare myself. I got to make sure I'm wearing something comfortable because we don't know where the night's going to go. Like, you know, I can't be in heels and then we're drinking cut water. You could be in, cut water doesn't, I don't she think. in the night barefoot. <laughs> and that's how most nights end though. Okay, not me. Ew. You don't wear, like, okay. So if you're in the night barefoot? I take off my sneakers. I don't care. Nah. Saying like, no, no, I don't. I'm, no, I'm you don't. I've like, never seen you barefoot shoe, in the Yeah, street. I was going to say, my shoes be like good. So like, I don't never have to do that. But like, I don't think cut water. Hey, again, shout out to cut water. Shout out to cut water. Y'all are the best drink out right now. And you made sure I had a good time after that Tank Davis fight. 
That, I, I think cut water is the reason why I had such a good time. Exactly. You was posting all day. All right. night, I mean. Right. You went to, uh, to work the next morning? Absolutely not. Okay, because I was about to say how. Yeah, I don't go? wake up. I only wake up at 2 a.m. Monday through Friday. That's it's five days a week. I still can't wrap my mind around hella. <laughs> That's like, oh my God, morning bird. Morning bird, because I don't, I can't oh, do yeah. it. Yo, it's Maisha, but y'all can call me Mooks. What's up? It's Greg, but y'all can call me GC. If you've been watching us this long, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, DC Offline. Add a thumbs up while you're at it. Your support really helps the channel grow. You can follow us on all social media platforms at DC underscore offline. That's at DC underscore O-F-F-L-I-N-E to be a part of the offline crew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you want to get into this Uno? Let's dive in. All right. We got five cards. Okay. All right. So it's a different version. This is offline. No. This yeah, is so offline version. I yeah, guess you can offline, offline version is five card Uno, um, separate from your tradi- from your traditional seven seven card Uno, mm-hmm. yeah. and pretty much all your basic rules that Uno will have. Can right? stack you fours can. on twos or twos on fours. Draw fours on draw twos or draw if, twos on fours. Um, you could pluck and play. Um, if you go out of turn, you got to draw two. Yeah, you got to pick up two of them things. Is there like a a rule sheet? Can you post the rules on the wall or something? Next episode, y'all about to see the rules right here. Thank you. I'll sign it. Oh, thank you. Okay. So you ready to get into it? There's only one winner, by the way. And what do I win? No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, it mentions my fit. Look, I can tell you right now. <laughs> Mooks is always the winner. Just letting you know. Mooks is always the winner. You know what? We're, we all have a thing. Everyone has a skill set. And if Uno is in your skill set, I will let you have that. Thank you. Thank you. We can't all be great at everything. I don't lose in Uno. I love that. I I think it's healthy to take L's. I really do. It is healthy, but I don't ever take, like, I have not lost in Uno. Not in Uno, because this is your thing. Uno's not my thing. So I I don't mind an L. Okay. Okay. I mean, I don't hope to get one, but. As long as you know, you you want to take an L. That's. L is for learning. Yeah. Or losing. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to Brit's educational corner. <laughs> yeah. Facts. So you're going to go first because you are the guest on the show. What color is that? Is this the it's, Luke's lemonade? That's red. It's red? Why does it look so orange? That does not look. Oh, my God, y'all. <laughs> it's, the, it's the lemonade. <laughs> it's the lemonade. Ooh, right off the bat. So, Brit, with you being from Jersey... Having lived in, yeah, that's that's four on your head. Um, I'm that's sorry. Crazy, bro. Both Having them. lived in D.C., I think you can agree that it's probably the brunch capital of the world, right? To my experience, yes. To your experience. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what type of mimosas are you doing? Just a regular orange when you go, or you also drinking mimosas? Are you drinking mimosas? No. What you drinking? What are you drinking? I just feel well, like at brunch, a I'd... point in life. Like brunch is a thing. Mimosas go with brunch. Mm -hmm. But at some point in life, maybe around like 23 years old, it's like I don't like cheap champagne. I don't really love orange juice. We just get mimosas because it's brunch. But would I want to drink a mimosa any other time of day? No. So why am I drinking it now? So I get my regular cocktail at brunch. What's your cocktail? Uh, A mezcal paloma. Interesting drink choice. It's like a smoky tequila with a little grapefruit, a little lime. Nope, little... you lost me at the grapefruit. Well, you're probably still drinking mimosas. Brunch one day, I, did, I ain't gonna hold you. Brunch, I, yeah. Hey, I one day you did. will graduate from that, and then give me a call. What am I gonna graduate to? Uh, to a cup something water? that's not cheap champagne and orange juice. I don't even use orange juice. Mm. I use pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Right. I use the pineapple. I don't even use the orange juice. She's doing better. Orange, yeah, orange juice. Ah, I use the pineapple. Yeah, is that what you put in this? No, that ain't pineapple. I can't. That's I can't tell you the mooks lemonade. I can't tell you everything that go in there. This is mooks lemonade. This is mooks what? Something else. Oh, she, oh yeah, you're right. She don't even remember what she made me. Yeah, and damn. then so, she, Greg, she walked out the of mooks the room. special. <laughs> she walked out of the room with my drink and then came back with it, and I was like, "What <laughs> just happened?" It, it was good. <laughs> Don't let the people do that. I, only because I trust her. But like, don't let people do that. Fact. Okay. Yeah. No, that's a fact. Don't. Yeah. We Back don't, again. We doing that. Brit's educational corner. 
What's Black the, lessons. I like the sound. That was nice. What's the um? What's your like brunch spots? Oh, it depends on my vibe. Um, I don't brunch too much anymore because I wake up early all week, and then like by the time people be brunching, and then like yeah. if you got woman friends. <sighs> Some girls be taking so long to get ready. By the time they're brunching, I'm on my fourth meal of the day already. So I just. What I time they brunch brunch. start? Maybe People be like brunching three. at like two o'clock. I'm yeah. like, I've yeah, probably yeah, been yeah, up yeah. since eight at least. On a weekend, you wake up at eight? Well, you figure if I'm used to waking up at two, sleeping Shit, till yeah, eight no. is a win. No, sleeping till like That's 11 a big win. is a win. That's my body can't do it. Can't do it? All right, can't 10. Do it. It's built different. 10? 10, wake up at 10. I, I physically cannot wake up at 10 a.m. Nine. Unless I'm drinking cut water. Hey, cut yeah. water give me that good sleep. Because after that fight, I woke up about 1 p.m. See? Oh, you need to drink cut more water cut water. Cut water give me that good yeah, sleep. Need, on Fridays, you need to drink cut water. <laughs> See? Cut water? That's the spot. Drink good cut sleep. waters on Fridays. Drink cut water. No, facts. Got See, it down I'm to a science out. over here. Yeah, I'm you are. You so are. what's the spot? You ain't even named the spot. So the people okay. that's coming in to D.C., they need the spots You want me to brunch. give them away? Okay, give two. Okay. If you if you come in with your family, you want something fancy, nice, like Teddy and the Bully Bar, I would do that. So Teddy and the Bully Bar. Yeah, not Ted's Bulletin. Yeah, I was about to say, that's how I was giving quick. Ted's Bulletin. I ain't going to hold you. Yeah, yeah. And then if you want to do like a little turn up vibe, get that new spot in Navy Yard, Royal Sands. Good vibe. That just came across my, um, mm. my Instagram. Okay. It's a good spot? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I'll take you. They don't have, do they have cut water? Yeah, she. They might. She's. They got Actually, I'm gonna get you a mezcal paloma. No, 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 no. The grapefruit threw me off. I don't want that. Sorry. <laughs> hard pass. Yeah, for, hard pass. First, it's of okay. All, we can go. First I'll, of all, I'm check it out. I'm, I'm game. Yeah. You ain't gotta threaten me with no good time. She's supposed to take us five different spots so far. She keep naming these spots, and she says she's gonna take us. So we'll let y'all know if she takes us to these spots. Jump in the fiat. Let's go. Did Even you, though you don't really validate my license, but it's fine. We'll get over that. Well, you're from Jersey too, so like I can I trust people from Jersey that can drive. Exactly. But I no, don't say exactly just yet. I think you should have just earned your license. I don't think you earned your license. I got everything else right. The driving part. It's just the parallel parking. I just hit a cone. That's but a like, person. The cone is a person. No, or a car. I think or the, another car. the cone is like another car or a person. Hey, save you, someone's sin. You know, you know how we be standing down the street. Hey, y'all, and I'm just. Doo-doo. But that's why I drive such a small car. Yeah, you to- tooting in that Fiat, yeah, you know, all right. I, like I mean, you've never been park with by a car for nope. a little bit. Okay. Nope. Mm-hmm. I feel like with the Fiat, too, you don't even need to parallel park. You just whoop, right up in that mug. That's, that's what it gets. You'll see. We'll get in. Yeah, I, I need to be in that. We about, <laughs> after this, we got to go see the Fiat. We got to take yeah, pictures in I it. Need, I need to take a look at that we for sure. We definitely got to take pictures in it. But I want to talk about how'd you get into... Oh, is it, is, is it on you? Did you pluck your... Oh, she yeah. was supposed to pull four I, cards. I picked my four. I picked my okay. four. Okay. Yeah, it's on you, Britt. But I I'll, picked them. Um, while you're going I'm still on, win. Don't even worry about it. Um, so you do... Appreciate oh, I was back to you, Moot. Um, you do pro wrestling TikTok. How did you get into that space? Oh, I love pro wrestling. Um, I think because my entire career and life has been built off of sports and entertainment. Like, I work in entertainment. I work in sports. Sports and entertainment together is pro wrestling. I see what y'all be doing. Y'all be doing hand signals over here. No, you it's just... a question to distract me. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. So it's your turn. Okay. If you had a pro wrestling name, what would it be? Green. Mm-hmm. You ain't got it. It's you, Greg. It's his turn. Ooh, I got them too. You ain't got it. I know you ain't. Yep. There you go. Yeah. So what's that name about to be? Um, I like my name. I like Britt Waters. I have gone through um, so many radio jobs, television jobs that have tried to change my name and nothing would stick except my actual name, Britt. What were some so, of the names they tried to switch up? Oh, child, I was ugh, too pretty Britty. <laughs> too pretty Britty, At some y'all. point. And I... And this, I didn't even, it, you couldn't let's say just it. say it wasn't my best looking years. Um, I had glow in the dark braces with four rubber bands and like big curly hair. And it just, it didn't really fit what they were. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get some pictures of those? Oh yeah. They on the Googles. I, 
I just, okay, bet. Yo, Google, shout out to Google again. Shout out to Google again. It's all part of my journey. It's great. It's your turn. Is it? You pluck. But you like yeah, wrestling pluck. a little bit too. Yeah, yeah. I grew up a wrestling fan. You have I'm a wrestling sure. name? Do I have a wrestling name? Yeah. I would have to make one up. I, don't, I never had one. Who's your favorite wrestler? Rey Mysterio. Oh. Yeah. Rey I just Mysterio. had Dominic Mysterio on my show, his son. Okay. And it was very interesting. They have a storyline going where like he's rebelling against his dad and he like went to Christmas dinner and like beat up his dad. Is this real? Yeah. He beat up his dad. He really he beat, beat up, up his dad on Christmas dinner. Like, and he brought his new girl who's kind of like she makes him call her daddy. It's wait, interesting. What? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. First of all, how'd you find him? Second, how'd this like conversation go? I'm sorry, we gotta get into it. Oh, we were talking about wrestling. <laughs> Y'all were just talking about wrestling and then like, yeah, I beat up my dad and I brought my girl with I me. I asked him about it. But how'd you, okay. That's so not something that him? you would find out without asking. Oh, there's footage. Yeah. There's footage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Damn. That's <laughs> fucked up. That's news to me. Damn, Ray Mysterio, you going out like that? Hey, but man, it Father has Time been a great undefeated. journey. Him and his son, Dominic, won tag titles at WrestleMania. And it was just a beautiful moment. Because you remember back in the day, he was fighting with Eddie Guerrero for custody of his son. Like, this man has been in pro wrestling since birth. And I just think seeing him flourish is great. And beating up his dad is great, too. How about that? Nope. It's all part of the journey. Okay. It's all part of the journey. Hey, we all got a a little path. We got to take it. What's your top five all-time wrestlers? That actually wavers, too. It Wait, depends. Is it my turn? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's definitely your turn. Oh, I was about to say, don't do it. Oh, no? Can I put them both? N- no, just one. Oh, she over here cheating, y'all. Yeah, it's cheater. Oh, no, nah, I know it's a. Okay, so my favorite wrestler of all time is. The yellow. She got a yellow. I got a yellow. Oh. I got a yellow. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. It's your turn. Don't, Don't even worry, worry about, about it, sweetheart. No. Red. Um, my favorite wrestler of all time is Mick Foley. Uno. AKA Mankind. AKA Dude Love. You supposed to pick something for her to I do. Know. It's okay. It's your turn, Rick. It's getting spicy right now. What the fuck? Greg, you had the. I know. Change I the, just. Greg, Greg, I don't lose. Oh, and you just. Ah. I wanted to see her fumble. You know what? You don't. You don't there. lose. You learn. No, that's a loss. <laughs> I didn't learn. An anything. L can also mean learn. No, it means. It could also mean love. <laughs> An L does not have to be a loss. <laughs> Thank you, Britt. Mm-hmm. I appreciate who, who that. Who taught I'm about you to these wonderful crying. lessons? I was just raised wonderfully by a loving family. Shout out to my parents. Let's be nice. I'm about to start crying. Sure. Were, were your parents oh the ones? Gosh. No, it's not. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll take it. Like, what do you? How you want to play again? I don't. know. Nah. Oh, are you about to give her tears so you can get the win? Yeah. That's what this is. You gotta have snot then too. That's if you, you had want the to snotty get the nose life. tears for my driver's license on yes. my birthday. A hundred percent. The snotty nose. Absolutely. With a stranger. Absolutely. I know they and they that. went for they it too. Like, they had Absolutely. To. Shout out to that lady. It was a lady too. God damn. Mm-hmm. We gotta go back to Jersey. You're different. <laughs> Snotty nose tears. I don't even think it's you answered crazy. this. Your top five. I think I said my it. ultimate uh, wrestler of all time is Mick Foley. Uh, Mankind, Dude Love, Cactus Jack. They're all him. I don't know if you're familiar. I was. No, I'm not. And are those all different people? No. So Mick Foley is the man, and he's played Mick. several different characters. Okay. He embodies several different things. So you got Mr. Sacco, who was with Mankind. I could. Go, this can go on forever. But if there's any wrestling fans hey, watching, talk to, yeah, we need like, to. I just know that Mick Foley gets forgotten about. The Rock is good because Mick Foley put him over. Mm-hmm. Stone Cold is good because Mick Foley put him over. In all of his different characters, The Undertaker is good because he threw Mick Foley off of the Hell in a Cell. All of your favorite wrestlers had their biggest moments against Mick Foley. He creates superstars. And I think that just aligns with who I am because I don't like to be in the spotlight unless I'm sharing someone else's story, Mm. making someone else get happy, cheering on another team. And I feel like that's who Mick Foley is. And I just love him for that. 
Shout out to Mick Foley. Yeah. I don't I don't, I don't think I heard of Mick Foley. Everybody else's name that you mentioned, I didn't really watch wrestling growing up. But everybody else's name. never too late. It, I think it is for me. Well, you can start. Okay, I'll try it. Smackdown's coming look, look, to Capital look. One Arena in March. If you're going, I'm going to go with you. Let's hey, go. Greg, I'm going to be on up. the floor. Let's do it. You gonna be see? You can't even. You gonna be on the floor? You said can't even yeah. watch that's, it with I mean, us. No oh support. yeah. Oh no. I'm gonna be working. I'm gonna be on the floor like a couple cut waters in. Okay. Okay. Cut water. Yeah. You know, dressed like Bianca Belair or something like. <laughs> oh, sh- all right. We going. We gotta go to SmackDown. You know, it's so fun because um, Bobby Lashley, who's like a big WWE champion and legend, uh, actually hosted part of a Wizards game with me this year, and it just was everything so full circle, and I just. Must be nice. The moment is is given. Yeah, we could sit here and talk about yeah. that for a minute. Yeah, yeah but yeah. we got time. What you think? We got one more question. Yeah, one more question. Yay! Um, so you spoke in depth about pro wrestling, <sighs> and you've Dude. also covered basketball, yeah. NBA, and WNBA. What's your favorite sport to cover? Mm, I would have to say basketball. Um, what do you mean? I, 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 am a, I always tell people basketball is basketball. Facts. If you are a basketball fan, Facts. you go to W games, you go to NBA games, like you go to high school games, you go to basketball games. I don't go to W games. I don't go to NBA. I go to basketball games. It's basketball. You're a fan of the sport or you're just like thirsting over some favorite players. That's just what it is. It'd be like that sometimes too. Sometimes it's like <laughs> that. Sometimes everybody's allowed to do that. Um, but I think as like, I've always been a waste of height. I'm very tall for a woman and wanted to play basketball. I think my high school coach kept me on the team because I can keep the GPA up. <laughs> I was really good at free throws. Couldn't miss them. Okay. I don't know why. Look, But like, it just got to a point where I was like, yeah, this is not, this is not it. It's not it. Join the marching band. But I was always on the team. And I think he kept me on the team just because he knew my character. And just, I love that I can still be around the game and be a part of the game and be connected to the fans and, and, and win a championship. And I think yeah. winning that championship, it wasn't just the players on the team winning. It was some of the founding fans who have been going to games for 20 years, who have been like mystics diehards. They won a championship too. Y'all won a championship for the city. Like it mm-hmm. was huge. And to be a part of those moments, I think basketball is just one of those sports that I've been a fan of my entire life. And I never wavered. You know, like at some point in life, you start watching 106 in Park, you stop watching certain yeah. sports, you stop watching baseball, like you, you start getting into other things. Like basketball has always been with me. So it's my favorite sport to cover. Love that. Damn. I, I have like, one, one last question. You said that like three times. Twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Twice. Don't, don't do me like that. Great. All right. But what would, what would you tell someone looking to break into the media space like a young woman like yourself? What words of advice would you give them if they're looking to, you know, break that, that glass ceiling and crack into the industry? Um, well, I mean, the industry is so much different than when I started. So I would just tell them to start. Um, everyone wants you to have experience. And a way to get experience is to open up your iPhone and start talking to yourself. Do a podcast space. Do it with your friends. While you're watching a game, like start doing play by play if that's what you want to do. Um, when you're listening to the radio, turn that jock down and pretend you're them. Mm. Just start doing it. And if you find comfort in that space and if you find uh, happiness in that space, you'll find success in that space. Yeah, I'm dropping gems on you. Yeah, everybody, every guest that we've had has been dropping gems. So we appreciate you for dropping them gems. Before you go, though, Thank we you want you platform. to sign. Oh. You know, you were on my old show years ago. My rookie year. Yes, her rookie year. Scared as fuck. I did nights at Fresh FM. I was on 7 to midnight. And then I had a really good year. And Tasha said she would bring you. I had never met you before. And she yeah. was being fake shy. No, I am shy. No, That's but you were being see. fake shy. No, I was. No, no, I'm telling you right now. Like, <laughs> I remember that. And I was like so nervous. I was scared. Like, I did not want to answer no questions. Like, I was, she was sitting like, in the nope. back. Yeah, like I was like, Tosh, please like, answer all of these questions. Like, Britt, stop asking me questions. I was like, is she good? Is a new girl good? Is she okay? <laughs> no, I was nervous. <laughs> I was nervous. And to see the way you've grown from that and how m- you're so comfortable in every media space. You're like the fun one. It's so oh, cool. And that's why when you ask me, it's an immediate yes, because 
even on when I was on a music platform, y'all came and supported me. And I hope that both of y'all now come on my show on Good Morning Washington. I would love to have you. Definitely. That might be too big for me. I still get nervous. It's like, nah, I got you. <laughs> okay. I'm better now. If um, you don't do it for me. I, I, Y'all, she's leaving me I'm not hanging. No more questions. Y'all, she's leaving me hanging. I don't. <laughs> don't leave me hanging. Y'all, leaving me hanging. Y'all, leaving me hanging. Y'all got to come on Good Morning Washington. I'm going to come on. I, gotta, I, gotta come on. I was joking. You st- okay. Yo, y'all, don't she's still. Me. I've, look, had to, I've had the lax mooks lemonade. She's still <laughs> leaving me hanging. Y'all, she. Thank you. Thank you. I've had the lax mooks lemonade. Exactly. Now we just. No, I but really, I appreciated you need to take that. Me to lax. Even when you were so shy, I appreciated that. I don't know why. I was like really nervous. Like I was shaking in my boots. That's so crazy. I was just like, maybe she don't like me. No, I was just maybe so she scared. Over it. No, I was scared. Because it's like... Look at you now. With your own show. Yeah, I'm getting a little better. Shout out to okay. Greg for helping me. No, no, like, yeah. We, we I was nervous. Together. And when I asked you, I was thinking, I was like, she probably don't even fuck with me for real, for real. Because <laughs> I, I went on her I don't forget her those show. things. I don't forget those things. And, and I love that. And I think whoever was listening to you then... And became a fan that night and has followed your career, has gotten to be so inspired and so motivated of your growth. Thank and you. now you're, you're sharing other people's stories on this platform. So it's like, it's really cool. Yeah, I might start crying here, but I'm from Jersey. I don't do that. If she don't snot, it don't count. Yeah, I'm not doing that for sure. No. <laughs> but she's from South Jersey. I'm from North Jersey. She's really not from Jersey, but I'm a no, 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 no. Jersey. North Jersey is fake New York. South Jersey is the actual Jersey, the Garden State, where you can get tomatoes on the side of the street. There's a pig farm near my high school. That's real New Jersey. North Jersey is just like, we almost New York. They, they eat Taylor ham. You eat Taylor ham or pork roll? No, I eat bacon, egg, and cheese. You exactly. eat the pork rolls. Pork roll. and, yeah. That's Jersey. No, that's not Jersey. That is Jersey. Yo, I, we could sit here for like 10 hours yeah. And talk about that because no, there's we gonna have to definitely debate that off camera. Add to the list. We're gonna get a pork roll, egg, and cheese. Yeah, we got we got three items to do. We I gotta we gotta go to that um, Jersey is not Jersey, that College yo. Park bar. Take a sample of the we don't miscellaneous liquid. To go to yeah, so let's not go to Bentley's. Yeah. I don't I don't think I'm I I have shoes that don't go along with the liquid on the floor in Bentley's. <laughs> Bet. I'm about to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. it is throw up. Hmm. It probably is. Yeah. It's getting, mm, yeah, no Bentleys. We go to all the other spots and it's not Bentleys. Yeah. I Copy. cannot believe you said Jersey. So, South Jersey is, um, okay, I'm sorry. For the last, you're going to be okay. The last oh, bit, we do have a plug in time segment on our show. Is there a, a small brand or business that you identify with that you would like to use our platform to give a shout out to? Oh, there's so many. So, so many. Um, I work with a nonprofit, uh, the William O. Lockridge Foundation. And they work with young kids. Uh, Wanda runs it. She has me host their event every year, Dancing with the Scholars. And the kids get to uh, dance with their educators and with some city council members and build a better bridge between teachers and the government. They also do academic scholarships and sponsor just like international trips Mm -hmm. so that young black kids in D.C. can just see the world um, at a level that they're not used to. So I definitely want to plug that for sure. Damn, that's all the time. Ta- Wait, nope. Sorry. First, can you sign our offline ball, please? Wow. Oh my gosh. What would my high school basketball say? If he, basketball coach say if he saw me signing a ball. He'd be like, look what I did. <laughs> wow. You made it. I never thought the day would come. Someone yeah. asked me to sign a look. WNBA ball. This was my dream at some point. It, look, you're living it right now. This I is mean, it. I mean, yeah, sure. Sure. Anywhere. I'm going to sign next to Kathy. <laughs> I'm going to sign next to Kathy. <laughs> I need to see the signature. I can't even read it. Let me see. Shout out to Britt, y'all. Shout out to Britt. Britt, Shout thank you y'all. so much. She did. So I don't right get too much. To Kathy too. I don't get too much time offline. So I enjoyed this. Thank we you so much for kicking it with us in this lounge. Yeah, I'll All see right. you on my show. For sure. Next, yeah, for real. We're going we to tap in with you. And to our guests at home watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You might as well hit the thumbs up notification. Your support really helps the channel grow. And like always, thank you for joining us in the lounge with your host, Maisha Hines Allen. I am your co-host, Greg Cross, and that's our time. We're going offline. Boom!